Lent is here. Can you believe it? Hello everyone, I'm Matt Sergeant, and I'm the pastor of Andrew Chapel United Methodist Church in Vienna, Virginia. And I want to welcome you today to Wednesday's Word. Yeah, here it is, Ash Wednesday, the beginning of our Lenten journey together. And I hope you would join us each and every Wednesday as we reflect a little bit on the importance of Lent. Lent, of course, is a time of repentance, a time of reflection and deep introspection. It's a time of prayer. And it's a time for many people when they fast. Let's talk about fasting for just a moment, shall we? You know, many Christians do fast during Lent. They fast from whole meals. Um, some abstain from a particular food item maybe chocolate. I guess maybe I should fast from donuts since I like them so much. But there are many things that people fast from. Some will take time out to not watch so much TV, but whatever it is, many people during Lent, they fast. And there is certainly nothing at all wrong with fasting unless this reflects the shallowness of what fasting is really all about. Let me explain that a little bit. You know, in biblical times, that was a very important part of a person's faith, was fasting. But some people made a big show of it. <laughs> oh, they would do more than fast. They would put on mourning clothes, and, and they would heap ashes over their heads, and they would make this big show of it. But these activities are worthless unless they're accompanied by acts of compassion. I really believe that's what Jesus wants us to do during the Lenten season. You know, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said this. He said, and when you fast, don't make it obvious, as the hypocrites do, for they look miserable and disheveled, so people will admire them during fasting. He said, I tell you the truth, that is the only reward that they will get. But when you fast, he said, comb your hair and wash your face, and then no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private, and your father, who sees everything, he said, will reward you. You see, I think this is the important part that we should never forget. Fasting is not to be a religious performance. God seeks fasting that is accompanied by acts of compassion, compassion towards others. So when we fast, we need to think of how we can not make a show of it, but remember that there's work to do in our Lenten journey. And that's to offer acts of compassion. Maybe it's prayers for justice, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, ministering to the oppressed. That's what we're called to do, right? Our call is not simply to fast and focus on ourselves. That's part of it. But really, we are called to focus on others and share with them the gospel of love. Let's give that a try this Lenten season, shall we? Sure fast, but offer acts of compassion to others. Let's pray about it, shall we? Gracious God, help us not to be shallow this Lenten season and just think only of ourselves, but help us to, to show acts of compassion, acts of mercy, acts of love, so that others may come to know you more dearly. We pray this through your precious name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great Ash Wednesday. 
I look forward to seeing you this Sunday for our first Sunday in Lent. Join us online at 10 a.m. Take care and God bless you.